So let's get into this energy for you. This energy for Aquarius and love. Exactly. Love yourself first. And I really just feel this is a time to give yourself space. I, I, it's extremely strong. Here we have trust, let go of control issues. I feel, again, perspective. I think, again, the focus is that you're, you're really trying to get into a space of happiness and grateful gratitude appreciating the things i think there is like this energy and a need to enjoy moments in time whether you guys and it doesn't matter whether that's cleaning your car if cleaning your car is therapeutic if baking is therapeutic whatever create like gives you some level of therapy is necessary here you have a chemistry and attraction. And to me, this is just to me strongly speaking about what we're attracting in our life and then finance and career. So this to me is like all over. Whatever you're feeling has nothing to do with one thing. I know this is a love relationship, but I, all the readings are really, I just feel everyone's really experiencing a lot of, a lot of um, third chakra solar plexus energy of roots and also base chakra root chakra of restabilizing we're realigning there's a reset in in that's going on i feel so this isn't just one area clearly this is a love reading but you guys know if you've been watching my reads um spirit always gives it to me a certain way but to me the overall change here is what's happening to you internally of you know you changing things and the finding some sweetness in your day-to-day -day, um, is necessary um, just to soothe your energy to find some quiet time some peace slow slow living i'm getting that a lot this month slow living um let's see what else we've got Okay. So seven of wands is to stand your ground. You know, this is definitely, and there goes third eye. So mirror energy is happening here. I think you're seeing things for what they are. I think also the things you're attracting are mirroring back to you a lot of emotions, maybe where we're more controlling, maybe where we need to let go. Um, the trust here is the situation is calling for you to have faith. So this is, again, finding our happiness and having faith. You have two major connas already showing up. The strength and the chariot. Crown chakra. Of course, this would be you, Aquarius, and passion ignited. Yeah. I really feel that your soul needs nurturing. You know, for me, Ace of Wands is an action card, but it's also about our soul the fire in our belly the solar plexus what ignites that what is it that we need to recharge to find some motivation with the chariot to me the strength is about finding that strength the, uh, the reset of how we feel it also has to do with our control right so there's a um a form of control here but I also don't see it entirely negative. I just think that you need to find something that'll soothe your soul with this Ace of Wands and whatever it is, I, I feel like I'm speaking generally because for some of you, you're in a connection. So this message is for you to nurture your soul and a lot of you if it's with this connection with a connection then um right now you're just i just feel like not really inspired you don't have much to give energetically you want happy outcomes whether that's dating or with your person but there's something within you that kind of needs your attention right again back to loving yourself so you you need you right now aquarius give me more of the strength 
Ace of Swords, truth, integrity. And there goes the Two of Cups and the King of Cups. And wow, justice. So this is good. This is to me all great, you know, because once you recharge, the truth is going to be um, very pure, authentic about your connection and also who you're attracting. So things will be fair, I think, once you give yourself this space to, to, to really think about how you feel. And this is, again, an alignment with yourself because once we feel good, then we can move forward. So let's get more on this chariot. You know, someone, some of you could be attracting a Libra this maybe even this recharge for yourself will attract new love. So like again, law of attraction, this is going to pull someone in once you also do this work and your soul is ignited. It will, this recharge will ignite and bring, you know, someone in a soul me in, give me more of this triumph, give me more of the chariot. You know, you'll find yourself more motivated. Yeah. Queen of Cups, more motivated, taking more actions with the Eight of Wands. These are the two fastest, fastest energy here. The Chariot with the Eight of Wands. And then the Queen of Wands is again the fire. So we're talking a lot about the fire in your belly and kind of reigniting your soul. Um, you're putting, you know, your hands are in the pot on many things, but also maybe taking the step back will help you recharge. And then you're going to continue to do what you have to do. And again, this is a form of loving yourself here with the Queen of Wands. You know, again, I feel something that's going to stimulate um, and ignite your soul again. I, 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 uh, the recharge, I, I'm sorry, guys, I keep getting it as the recharge, but something to refuel yourself, something that uh, could remind you why you're doing life, you know, something for some of you, it's like that. You know, a lot of crown, when, when, when we have crown chakra showing up, that's a lot of mind energy and so much. And that could be very exhausting too. Here more of this crown chakra. So clearly, crown chakra with the emperor, which is a controlling energy, four of swords, a lot of mind, swords, seven of swords. So a lot of um, time spent thinking. And I feel this is where it's fair to say there's a lot. It's robbing you of time. Um, it's It can make you very rigid. It could also, when we spend so much time and it robs us, we can lose faith here. So spirit is saying trust, right? The situation is calling for you to have faith. And the mind is, I just feel this energy of the mind racing. Now, some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, and there's this energy of just kind of really much in the spiritual realm. Give me more. Some of you are in the dream state with someone as well. Give me more of this Four of Swords. Some of you, a lot of this could be coming into your dream state. Yeah, two of swords. So spiritual connection here with the high priestess. A lot could be very spiritual and in the dream state. And you're trying to make sense of it all. We've got two twos, right? Duality. This is where we're trying to make sense of what's being shown. The lessons, the reasons. Um but you have to be careful that it doesn't rob you of peace either right and um inspiration drive but then again it's much needed rest because here this is where you're learning again to love yourself and take care of yourself or do something to recharge game are this ace of wands exactly guys look at this nine of pentacles and the fool this is your recharge this is the self this has nothing to do with anyone else but you aquarius and i just don't think you have energy to give at the moment because you need you right now 
and again this could be financially maybe some of you are shifting because nine of pentacles right it's about grounding our energy pentacles are about resources so a lot of you are it could be dealing with a move changing location moving to another city um needing to just change you know leases are up something to that nature where you're just in a space of a lot in your mind and needing to kind of find some peace so i feel that strongly here let's see what the blockages are yeah cl cleansing clearing out old energies it really is i want to pull one more give me one more for aquarius spirit you know this is really oh i knew it duality i told you this is exactly what the high priest is to to it's it's about duality it's what's being shown to you you've known the worst prepping for the best and there's a lot being shown to you here aquarius really is there's a lot being shown so you're just cleansing and um either way i still think this is a great thing because you're you're focused on what makes you happy and i think that's what you need to remember here is you need to kind of find that peace within yourself and and then you know then this relationship maybe the start over of something if this is a past energy but even a new love but it's you you need to recharge so let's see what your guidance is yeah new direction here it is this is really this the fool it's all new with the ones and the magician like manifesting your higher self is calling you to take a new direction this could be a new career job friendship or even a new love relationship this new path will lead you to your highest good trust it and follow the road ahead and that's why i feel your higher self so you're loving yourself that is your higher self um calling you this is a soul calling and the nines are the self to take a new direction here so um i truly feel that let's see one more guidance oh that's quick spirit thank you healing yeah i lay in the field of many flowers and become part of the landscape wild flowers begin to grow between the cracks of my soul and my heart blooms in beautiful unison so this is a time of healing um, again finding the cracks of your soul for happiness right so while flowers begin to grow between the cracks of my soul and my heart blooms and this bloom there's an igniting you need to kind of take your time and let your soul bloom again and then autumn a period of harvest and abundance and here we are in the east coast entering fall season and it really is this is the period of harvest and abundance so